Welcome to Nagra Analog Workshop. We want to show you how to get the most of this tape on your Nagra Forest. Ren is going to show you the different steps to follow. The first step to get the most of your tape is to clean the head. You can use a 94% alcohol. It's, it's good also to do the pitch roller. So after you do that, you need to demagnetize the, the head. But it's very important to know that there's no tape close to uh, your demagnetizer. De so I remove the tape. You also need to close the machine because you can destroy the electronic if you don't do that. So it's really important to don't move quickly. So you go on each head. It's very important to stop the demagnetizer when you are far from the machine or far from your tape. Okay, now you can power again the machine. The machine can be powered with battery. If you use rechargeable battery on the power supply, there's a switch that you need to put on charge. It's recommend to have a better sound to use the battery with the charger, it will give you a more, more clarity, more transparency. If you don't have that uh, AT entry from Nagra, uh, you can also use alkaline battery, and uh, like the Duracell, and it sounds very nice, more warm than uh, uh, a regular power supply. So this is the input for the power supply, for the external power supply of the forest. When you use QGB, you don't uh, go directly there. You go directly on the input of the QGB for the power supply. And you take a, a special cable that is also available at Nagra to plug the QGB to the 4S. So both will be powered by your external power supply. Or if you put the switch on the power supply to charge, will charge the inside battery of the forest. One step that is really important is to know what is the EQ of your tape. So if it's NEB or CCIR, okay. and the switch is here. So on the right side you have the CCIR and on the left side you have NEB. So I'm going to play an NEB tape, so I switch to NEB. The main switch here you have for 15 IPS, you need to put the switch here. If you have special Nagra Master EQ, uh, you need to put here. Usually on the market you will not find that uh, EQ, but if you do your own recording, you can use that one. And if you have uh, 7.5 IPS tape, a lower speed, you need to select the switch here, and a 3.75 speed, it, it is here. If you want to, to do the bias EQ to do recording, it will be on the hold here. It's recommend to, to use a technician if you never do that, uh, because you need some knowledge to get the most of it. And you have the switch for the bias here. There's two kinds of uh, head for the recording and the playback. Uh, both are stereo, both are uh, compatible, but uh, you, uh, you will get a better sound if you use the right head uh, to play back your tape. Uh, Sometimes people talk about butterfly head. The butterfly head is kind of a 2.75 uh, 
uh, millimeter here so the it's more large the the head itself right now here we have a 2.0 uh, millimeter because there's uh, either a time code or a pilot head here it's pilot head most of the europe uh, tape will be 2.75 stereo head most of the us uh, a pre-record master or copy master will be 2.0 uh, millimeter. On the 4S there are some EQ so if you have the switch here at flat you have a full frequency response from about 25 Hz to 20,000 Hz. If you put on music you will cut a bit the low end bass and you will go stronger if you go more far here. So it's really important to put the switch on flat and not music to get the, the full frequency response. One thing that is really important also to get the most of it is to have the switch on tape. If you do on direct, you have more circuit when you play back the music. So you have those spots that will be in the sound and you will have more uh, uh, fat electronic also. So as soon as you put on tape, the, you lower the noise floor and you have a more direct output. Recording, you have you can go uh, line. So if you need to record, let's say uh, another tape from another machine or a CD, you can switch here on line, and you have the line input with a special cable that you need to order from Magna. You you really need a special cable because there's a 5,000 ohm uh, resistance in the cable, and it will makes it make the sound to be uh, balanced and without distortion. When you do recording, it's always important to have a reference for the azimuth of the tape. So you have on the 4S uh, a 1000 ohm and a 10,000 ohm. When you uh, press to that switch and if you do a very good recording and you want the uh, mastering lab to use your tape, you need to give that reference to the mastering lab. If you want to record with microphone, you need to put that switch at microphone and to select the right uh, setting uh, on the XLR on the left side of the machine. This is the input left and right. And uh, if you have condensed microphone, you will need to switch here that switch to 48 volt for both sides. That one you, uh, I will need to switch also and you have also I think uh, normal or uh, phase reversed make sure you are you are at normal so you don't have a out of phase recording when you want to attach the QGB to the 4S you need to use those clip here so you go like this and you do that Yes, now we will play a tape. So I will play an NEB tape so the switch is at the right place. So that one, that one is an NEB tape. On the QGB, it's a special extension for 10 inch uh, tape. But if you have seven inch tape, it will, it will be here. You put your seven inch and the tape pad is here and you have the other 7 inch. But today I want to show you how to use the QGB because it's a bit more uh, special. With that uh, kind of uh, tape you need to use the other adapter. So there's two possibility of uh, adapter. You have the small adapter for that hole and you have the, the big hole with the big NEB adapter just need to push those two switch here and put the little one on the QGB when you want to load the tape to the other reel you need to switch the on the right because you load on the right and it's the opposite if you load the other way so the, the tape path it is like this So, 
as soon as you have a grip, you leave the switch in the middle and you are done. So now to uh, play back the tape, you will need to do that and turn the switch on play. And you are ready to go. With faraway clouds wandering by. So if you put the switch here, you will have playback from the speaker of the forest. Where do they go? And if I put on direct, you will also have volume. If you don't have preamp and you go directly to an amp, you can use the 4S as a preamp. So you need to put on direct and use the Telling volume. Stories that use no the volume. One you don't need the speaker to do that, you can leave on playback here. So. Stories of love. You see? On tape, on tape will always sound better because it's more direct. Now, if you want to uh, fast forward, you will need to do that here. And there's a small button here, right side for fast forward or on the left side to rewind. The speed is variable, so you can also uh, do it very slowly if you need it. As soon as you push the bottom, it will stop. Now I will explain how to plug the 4S to an audio system. You can go out with banana here from the 4S. Uh, I prefer that way because you can use a bigger cable and uh, we do at Nagra some custom cable that, that will give you the most out of the 4S. The other place you can go out of the machine is uh, there with a special cable order from Nagra. But those connectors are pretty good and the quality is very good but it's very difficult to uh, build a very nice shield cable that will use that connector. Thank you for watching this video of the Nagra Analog Workshop. Check Nagra Analog Workshop online. We do servicing for your recorder and we also sell refurbished units with new old stock parts totally refurbished in Nagra Lab in Switzerland.